to have an experience where you are in it and everybody who's in it is in it for all the right reasons just to make the best film they can and the conversations going on on set about foreign policy about the history about life about it's just amazing and it's going on on set about foreign policy about the history about life about it's just amazing and it's going on on set about foreign policy about the history about life about it's just amazing and and Catherine Zeta Jones, a stunning success story from a small town in Wales. Yes! I got it in! Married now to Michael Douglas. I interviewed them two years before Catherine was nominated for a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her performance in the movie Chicago. Michael, you have won two Academy Awards. One flew over the cuckoo's nest, you got the producing, and then you got Best Actor in Wall Street. It's been quite a career. But I have the feeling that this lady and this baby are your crowning achievement. Thank you, but I've got her heart now, which uh, it means a lot more to me than the Oscar. Really, is that my happiness? <laughs> <laughs> you put my name on those, but I really want an Oscar. <laughs> you got time. Um, I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Now, there's another way you can tell your Republican. Your faith in free enterprise, faith in the resourcefulness of the American people, and faith in the U.S. economy. And to those critics who are so pessimistic about our economy, I say, don't be economic girly man. Uh, Christopher Dodd, Joe Biden. So you have to listen to the questions today uh, in that context. All right. Back to you. Catherine Herridge, live from Capitol Hill. It'd be interesting also to count the number of uh, protesters who show up. Why, why do they let anybody in pink in? Because the coats are wild hats. <laughs> well, some of them were arrested yesterday, were they not? I think they all got. Uh, Ike Skelton from uh, Missouri had them all carted off and arrested. The one. <laughs> These signals being sent through. You're giving me a headache. Yeah, tell me about it. I spent the hackers months to figure out how to do this. The poor and the underclass are growing. Racial justice and human rights are non-existent. They have created a repressive society, and we are their unwitting accomplices. Their intention to rule rests with the annihilation of consciousness. We have been alone in the trends. They have made us indifferent to ourselves, to others. We are focused only on our own gain. We have Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. That is their primary method of survival. Keep us asleep, keep us selfish, keep us sedated. And putting the water on the sandwich, not just blowing out of your ass. Yeah.
36 years old, I love my family, I love baseball, and I'm about to become a farmer. But until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. If you build it, he will come. Who's hearing voices? Ray is. Not in the field. No, I'm not. I think it means that if I build a baseball field out there, that shoeless Joe Jackson would get to come back and play ball again. Why do I not think this is such a good thing? I have just created something totally illogical. That's what I like about it. There's a man out there in your room. Seven. Yes, Terrence Mann. That's who's paying. Did you hear the voice too? Oh my God! That shoot is Joe Jackson. Ray, you're bankrupt. Don't have to sell the farm. You're broke, Ray. It will come, Ray. What? What is it? It's my father. Hey, Dad. You want to have a catch? It will most definitely come.